Welcome everybody, my name is Lars Stadman. I'm working now for six years at Agrifac. I really like working at Agrifac, otherwise I have I've been working here already for six years. I'm going to present to you some new uh, features we have, which will be available on our new machines. But first, you've seen it already before today, the quality of life. I will not explain you what it means, but I will ex want to explain you what it means for me. I think it's important to have fun with your friends. I think it's important to exercise. I think it's important to do my job in the correct way. And I think it's important that I eat healthy food, because otherwise that is not possible. Without healthy food, I don't have the energy to do all of that, because I'm working hard, exercising, always on the run. That means for me the quality of life. And I'm proud to work at Agrifac, because Agrifac makes that happy, and I can contribute to that because we're thinking about the future. We're thinking about how we want to increase yields, but also to make yields better and more nutritious. Everything what we do at Agrifac, everything what we design, it is brilliant simple. And what means brilliant simple? Our machines are very innovative, and I think they are ahead of competition. But to be innovative, we don't want that it is difficult to use, because for you as user, it needs to be simple. And that's why we call our, our machines brilliant simple. And a good example from that is our Ecotronic Plus system. The people who are already driving with a Condor, uh, starting with a Condor 3, there was a big change because we went from a lot of buttons and screens where you have to swipe through to only two screens, one for GPS and one screen for the sprayer and all the things that were happening at the sprayer. It was already a revolution in the agricultural sector and a lot of companies tried to copy it. But we're thinking ahead and we want to improve it again. And because time and technology is changing, in our new endurance, which will be presented later, we have the Ecotronic Plus 2, but also our own design dashboard. Instead of two screens, we're going to work with one screen. It will be a fully integrated screen of GPS and the controls of the sprayer. And it's going to be an extension of your, uh, of your company, of your office, where you do your administration, where, where you are checking things at your computer. Because there will be always a connection between the sprayer and the computer at home. So it's not anymore what is, uh, what is going on, but it's going to be a, a checking system. Is everything done how it's supposed to be? And the data will also be available in, in the future. For example, in, in one year, your uh, GPS map, your, your task map will still be available. If we're going to take a look at the developments uh, we have, the basic starts with Strux Spray Plus, which will be available starting from the Condor Endurance. And what does Strix Spray Plus mean? I hope everybody could see it, but it's actually very simple. Why should we spray on places where we don't need to spray? And that's starting with the Technique Strict Spray Plus, where every nozzle is singly controlled. So we're working with single nozzle control. That means that if you have a task map, for example, uh, made from, a, from drone data, you're only going to spray on the plants where you want to spray. But that's not all, because we're working with electronic controlled nozzles, which are opening and closing. We can do much more things, which everybody nowadays sees in their fields. For example, have you ever thought about the fact that if you're turning and still spraying, that the outside is going much faster than the inside, if you're turning. But at the moment, we're spraying the same rate. 
and that results in these two uh, infographics. On the left side, you will see a conventional system, and on the right side, you see the Agrifac system. We know exactly with what speed the boom is, uh, is turning, we know how fast the sprayer is moving, and we know the turning angle. And from that, we can give the signal to the nozzle to open or close. So to regulate and pulsate the, the liters per hectare. And that gives you a better uniform, uh, uniform spraying pattern on your field. Another thing, and Melvin already explained this, amplify your effectiveness. It all has to do that we have to improve our effectiveness. We have to use a lot of data, and the data needs to be used. And how we're going to do that, we don't know yet, because technology is changing every day. And people are learning, but also our new generation sprayers is learning. I think everybody heard about artificial intelligence. Our sprayers are also self-learning. They recognize uh, a, a situation, and that situation will be used in the future. And not only from that sprayer, but from all the sprayers we have at Agrifac. So it's a constantly improvement of the knowledge. But there is more, because we have so much developments, and we were thinking about what do we need to do with it. And we say, let's create one name for it. Or how can we combine it? And that's called need farming, which is our own platform at Agrifac. But what does need farming mean? With people, we're looking about the different needs of people. For example, maybe you've seen it, but sometimes I'm looking for, 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 for air. I'm breathing very heavily, so I'm going to the doctor. And I get a pill from that, for that. But you don't need it, because you're different, you have other needs. You have different other needs in, in, in medicine, in, 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 in food. And we have to think about that, because why, sh why, why do we do it already by ourselves, but we don't do it in the field? And we believe that if we do it in the field, we can create safer and nutritious food. Because only the plants, and on the picture you see the people who are ill or in need of something, they need to get it, and not everybody. How do we gather then that data? There are different systems available at the moment. For example, there, is, uh, there are satellite images, which you can see, and uh, they are available for free nowadays. You have uh, drones which are going over the field, but you can also take soil samples. But we believe that the most important thing are the farmers, so that's you. You need to analyze that data, and you need to know uh, you know your fields, so you know, know what needs to be done. For example, if you have a wet spot in a field, you know that from previous years, you know what to do. And the task map, which is only data, doesn't know that. So your input stays very important. Nowadays we're also talking a lot about precision farming. And we don't think it's precision farming. And I want to give you an example. We see here a spray boom. And if we put four sensors on that spray boom to know how many liters per hectare we want to spray, three sensors are telling us we have to spray at 100 liters, and one sensor is telling us zero liters. What is happening? It's going to be the average of the average is calculated for the complete boom. So that means over the full length of the boom, the rate is not correct. It's not what we need, and it's not what the plant needs. With Agrifac, we do that different. This is an image of our new electronic screen. And what you can see, we divided the field in small uh, squares of only 50 centimeters. You see the sprayer also. And exactly at that point, at 50 centimeters, so per nozzle, we're going to regulate the output so that every plant gets what it needs. And not like we do now, that everything is average, so no precision farming. But based on the task map, we're going to make sure that every plant gets what it needs. Because there is potential in the plant and we should get the full potential. And by giving an average, the full potential is not reached. 
With need farming, we have a lot of different technologies. But we believe that the first thing, what is important, to improve the spraying quality and to make sure that every drop hits the right spot, is the spraying height. It's a fact that if a boom is too high from the crop and there's a little bit of wind, you have drift. And drift means it has a negative effect on the spraying quality. With Agrifac, we designed our own system. And it's important to know that we are unique in the market. Our boom is always free to move instead of that it's part of the machine, that it's connected. Because we don't want that every movement from the sprayer is giving to the boom because the boom will move and it means that the spraying quality will decrease because the distance to the crop is always changing. We're going to work with sensors and those sensors are going to look in different directions. We need that for the hills. They're not only going to look down, but they're also going to look to the right and the left side to get a bigger spectrum and to have a better idea how the crop is doing and where we need to regulate the boom. So everything starts with the boom balance. And if you're working in flat fields, or you're working in hilly conditions, we believe that sensors will be the future. Also, IC+. Plus. What is IC+, plus? I will show you with a movie. IC+, plus is nothing more like what the farmer sees, also the sprayer needs to see. Because the sprayer is on a daily basis in the field. So why shouldn't we use the sprayer, not only for spraying, but also to collect the data and react to that? This is a movie from France. Um, it's a sugar beet field, and there are thistles in the field. But we only want to do spot spraying in the areas where we need to. We don't want to harm the growing process of that very young sugar beet. So what we're doing, <coughs> real time, at the moment, we're going to take a look what is needed. And where something is needed, we're going to act. So the sprayer gets a signal that it needs to spray on that spot. And as explained, it will be nozzle by nozzle. So on every row, we know what to do. But I see people thinking, if you do that, you never know how much chemicals you need to load. That's correct. That's why we've designed our own system, Smart Dose Plus. It's an injection system, which makes sure that you can start with a, uh, a tank. The tank you can fully fill with water, for example, five or 8,000 liters, and there will be separate cans for the chemicals. And only when it's needed, the chemicals will be used. It will be injected into the system, so that again, at 50 centimeters, we can give what is necessary, and not a complete field. Based on that, we think we can save a lot. To give you an example, if you have a field of 20 or 50 hectares, it doesn't matter. Normally, you're going to treat the complete field only for that. And if you combine all those small plants of thistle, perhaps it's only one hectare in your, in, your, in your field. So why use the complete field as an average? No, spot spray. Dynamic dose. And we really believe that this is going to be the future, regulating it, the output, nozzle by nozzle. There is always a, a certain potential in the plant, but we believe that today or nowadays. That, poten that optimal potential is not reached because again, average. We're treating a complete field or a complete boom with average. That's something we need to improve, but we are also challenging you. We will provide you with the systems which can regulate nozzle by nozzle the output. But the data need to come for you. We don't know where the future is going and we don't know what kind of systems there will be available on the market next year or the years after. But we will make sure that the right data can be processed by our machine to make sure that every plant in the field gets what it needs. 
we believe we can decrease the use of chemicals by 50% and increase the yields also by 50%. So we believe that we can produce together safe, sufficient and nutritious food. And we are challenging you. Let us know where we need to help you with. And if you have questions about it, ask your sales representative. I want to thank you for this uh, presentation. But before you go, we want to give you a demonstration. Everything what I explained will be shown by my colleague. Imagine that this white square is your field. It's a task map which you already integrated in the sprayer. You see blank spots, you see smaller plants and you see bigger plants. And we are regulating now, nozzle by nozzle, the output. For example, here we are spot spraying. Only there, where it needs to, we are spraying. And it's not that this technique will be available in the future, in one or two years. It's available now. But you have to give us the right data to process it. And then this will be the result. Thank you.